Hey guys, it's Chef Jason. Today I am working again with our friends at Rock River Ranches. And I'll tell you, Rex and the team have quite the holiday feast set up for you. That's right, it is time for bison prime rib. So today's recipe, we're gonna talk a little bit through how to make bison prime rib. We're gonna show you all the steps and a lot of cool things. Now, Rex has got two awesome bison packages for you. So you're gonna be able to order a half prime rib, which is gonna get you a four to six pound uh, piece of bison prime rib, or you can order that 10 to 12 pounder, which is gonna get you that whole bison prime rib. Now, the cool thing is you can ask for a light or a heavy prime rib. So if you're ordering a half or a full, you ask the team when you order, hey, can I have a lighter one or a heavier one? And you're gonna get it on the lighter side or the heavier side. That is super cool. They're gonna come to you boneless. They're gonna come to you frozen. They're already going to come 21 day age, which is amazing. Now, Rex is doing something pretty cool and he's going to include two of our favorite rubs. So you're gonna get a full bottle of Island Boys coffee rub and a full bottle of our chef's rub it up. And the great thing about it, and I was talking to Rex and, and said, are you sure you want, you want a whole bottle? And Rex is like, absolutely, because these pair so good with so many of the bison products that you're gonna have enough to do today's project, the prime rib, you're also gonna have enough to do some bison burgers, some bison back ribs, and more. So let's dig in here, let's walk through this, and I'm gonna show you how to get this bison prime rib all set and ready to go. Step number one in this process is, these are gonna come to you frozen, so you're gonna wanna take them out of the freezer, place them into the refrigerator. I'll usually put them on a cookie sheet pan just to catch any drippings if I have them, but go ahead and take that out of the freezer, put it in the fridge, give this a, a good two solid days to defrost. That is uh, definitely gonna make sure it is ready for you. Now, they're gonna come netted too, right? Um, you can leave the net on if you want. Uh, just know that when you cut it off, it may pull off a little bit of seasoning, which isn't a bad thing. It'll help it hold its uh, structure as well. I like to take the net off because I'm gonna build a little bit of bark. So I, I like to uh, just kind of remove that netting, make sure I've got a good opportunity to layer some rub on there and build up some pretty solid bark. So if you do this right, you can do it right in the package and just carefully lift it out. It'll keep all those juices in the package like that. Now what I'll do, take some paper towel or a napkin and just kind of pat this guy off real quick. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. I want this just to soften a little bit, right? I want that fat to soften, I want that muscle to soften. Then when we come back, we'll go ahead and get that all seasoned up and we'll show you how to get it prepped and ready because we're gonna wrap this after we season it and pop it in the fridge and let it sit for about 12 hours. We are fully rested and ready to go. Uh, I like to remind myself too, when I get ready to do this part, I wanna keep one hand clean uh, and one hand that I can use to rub. That way I'm not touching the bison, then touching the rubs, touching the oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and oil this lightly. I like to use a little bit of oil, just a light coat to kind of act as that binder to help that seasoning stick. And because we are going to season this thing 360 degrees, I'm gonna oil it 360 degrees as well, just to make sure I get some some good coverage here. All right, now that that oil is kind of doing its thing, we'll go ahead and move this guy over a little bit. As you can see, I've got that saran wrap ready or that plastic wrap ready because when we're done, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this guy and then pop it in the fridge to uh, soak for a little bit. So now I'm just gonna go through here and season this, like I said, as light or as heavy as I want. Now, I will go ahead um, too and just pat this down a little bit just to help some of that rub stick. Right, and then don't worry if a little bit of it falls off. That's totally normal. And then I'm gonna season this end, get it all set, pack that on there nice and tight, flip it onto that, and we'll season the backside as well, all right? Now, like I said, we'll go ahead and get this finished, then we are going to wrap it in plastic into the fridge, and I say about 12 hours minimum. That's perfect time to allow that rub to really activate, and the beautiful part is you'll see that coffee rub just stick to this and get ready to develop some beautiful bark. So. We are almost finished. Next up, it is into the fridge. Soak for 12 hours. Let's go ahead and take this plastic wrap off. And we did a good job of wrapping that, keeping uh, all that stuff on there. And look at that, you can see some beautiful dark spots, light spots, that is perfect. But look at that right there. That rub is just doing exactly what we want it to do. So now, preheat the oven. We'll go ahead and let that heat fully. Time to sear this off. Now, I'm gonna leave it on that cookie sheet pan. Why? It's already dirty, I might as well let it go. And if you notice, we didn't do any trimming to this yet, right? Because I like to leave all that fat on there, really ensuring it is juicy, delicious, and wonderful. We'll trim it all up at the end, get it set. Next up, into the oven. 
Okay, the oven is preheated to 425. I'm gonna slide that prime rib in the center rack, uncovered, right? Because I wanna get a good sear on there and I'm gonna leave it uncovered the whole cooking method because uh, I want to get a good crust. Now, we're gonna go ahead and sear that at 425 for about 20 minutes, right? We wanna get that process started. Then we'll come back and we'll show you how we adjust the temperature down and finish this off. Okay, here we are right after that 20 minute sear. Look at that beautiful color. Now, just for curiosity, let's check that temperature. So we're at about 48 degrees, which is great. So we've warmed it up nice. We are all set and ready to go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the oven down to 325 degrees, and I'm going to continue to watch this now and check its temperature in another 30 minutes. My desired cooking temperature today is, I'm going to pull this at 125 degrees because we have to rest it, right? and there's a little bit of carryover. So I wanna pull it at 125, let it rest, and finish to a beautiful, perfect medium. All right, we just did our final temperature check. We are right at 125 degrees, and it is time to take this out. Here's my other chef's tip. Be very careful when you take this out that you are taking it out even and level. That way you'll keep any of those drippings in the pan. So now we'll go ahead and rest this on the counter. We're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then we will get in here and quality control. Well, there you have it. Quick and easy bison prime rib. Total cook time was just shy of an hour and a half to get it to that medium rare. We pulled it at 125 degrees. We're letting it rest so that we can get ready for that beautiful, amazing, always so awesome quality control. Hey, don't forget we have today's recipe available for you as well. Head over to rockriverranches.com, grab today's recipe, and then be sure to send Rex a nice message and thank him because you are going to get, once again, two full bottles of our rub, which are gonna be amazing on that prime rib and then absolutely fantastic on some bison burgers, back ribs, bison meatloaf, and a lot of awesome creations. So thanks so much for hanging out with us. I'm Chef Jason Morris for my friends at Rock River Ranches. We hope you enjoy your bison prime rib. I'm gonna slice into this end cap a little bit, but look at that, you guys. That is what we're talking about. Simply amazing.